But I need to talk to you about the podcast, Wooly. Um, I've, I've been recently informed that there are some of our viewers that would appreciate it if you turned down the racism. Is that accurate? I was told that while you were playing Final Fantasy 16, you in fact were asked if you could tone down the racism. <laughs> oh, um, no, I think it was, no, I think, I think the, I think the line was, um, you made your point, please have some tact, I think is oh what it was. Oh my god, oh yeah, have more at, tact! At, at which point I, I promptly declared, this is Wooly Versus, I'm sorry, <laughs> where did you think you were? We don't do that here. <laughs> That's not the way this works. This is oh. this is not, in fact, going to happen anytime soon, and uh, the volume knobs have been dialed back up as I look towards the audience with a grin oh. on my face oh. to see what. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, um, um, I think that's. How's what FF16? Did you beat it right? Beat FF16. Uh, did a nice big like rush to the finish on that. Um, did you do the the that last? batch of quests that unlocked yes so uh, i did the last batch of quests and i did the super boss um super boss says i suppose i did not do the um icon challenges that were like in the edit stones throughout the map so they're all pretty much the same yeah and they buff your your respective icons right that's what no, i know they give you an accessory to buff the icon it's a relatively minor boost mm. um, you mainly do them to do them right and then you go, I still, so the thing is, is once I found the the accessories that I liked, like there's mm -hmm. two of those that are never coming off, right? And that was mm -hmm. the super dodge and yeah. the magic charge. Like, they're so, they're such they game really, changers. They really should have not even had that fucking thing as an accessory. That should have been a regular move because they should have just assumed that everyone was going to rock it the whole game. Every single person I know playing that game put that thing on and just never took it off. It's, cra it's crazy. Like, the dodge is a mechanic. <laughs> it slows the game down into this awesome fucking, like, you know, Akira slide. And, um... You're, it's you're, a way better dodge than your real dodge. It's beautiful. It's awesome. It's stylish. It's fun. It feels good to land it. And it's it's so wild that you would put that on or off in exchange for other things. It's almost as if like those uh, mm. pouch accessories. It's like, do you want to carry more healing items? Well, you got to lose a slot for that. You know what I mean? It's almost like, no, yeah. let's just upgrade the fucking dodge. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I really like it. So... Uh, and then, and of course, and everything in this game that it now, the final kit makes so much of it make sense in that. And, and I know we've been this slow discussing this game for a while now, and um, there's been so much preemptively said before I have context and then afterwards to solidify it and stuff and yada yada. I'm going to pick up on certain things you've mentioned and, and certain things I mm -hmm. forget. But one thing is clear is the amount of slowdown and the amount of time you spend in these like little moments of like waiting are clearly mm -hmm. there for you to get your bar back, right? I think I mentioned that last time. Yeah. And um, you feel it so much more uh, when you have the full, full kit. Like everything plays into everything else in a way that's that makes a lot of sense. Um, you kind of learn that, I think, early on, but there's still... It, it, it really isn't until um, Odin that like you can absolutely feel that at its maximum. Like you're perfectly timing the 15 mm -hmm. seconds or less for this exact moment here, 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 and, 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 and you yeah. know, uh, uh, Zantetsu can everything. Um, but yes, no, I, I, ran, I ran, we ran through that. I wanted to get through the sessions as we were nearing the end. And of course, to, we got to race back to Vivi. We got to get back to the boys. So um, that finale, uh, so spoiler alert for the end of FF16, uh, now that I've beaten it, well, I'm going to discuss that, and I, I think that'll be the the closing uh, uh, thoughts on the matter. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe maybe I was um, maybe my, my my expectations, you know, were were lowered pre based on previous discussion, and uh, I tempered what I thought the denouement would be. But mm -hmm. I really didn't mind uh, a, a bunch of how that played out, uh, mainly because, of course, like I love the characters and. Um, the weakest part of it being Ultima as a personality is mm -hmm. like 
a major like, yep, you're a god, yada yada, you're a hypocrite, and, and yeah, hubris, and, and, and etc. But it's like I feel that like all they re- like all they really needed to do was just like have Ultima be a better personality, like be a more compelling yeah. character, um, because. Um, uh, some discussion had after the fact where like there was a lot of those like last minute side quests which I did a bunch of the 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 meandering ones off camera and then I did the main ones mm-hmm. on camera uh, you know there's some good stuff to really like here's some characters here's some memories with each of the crew here's Gav here's Sid here's Torgal you know like all these little lovable scrunkos <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah and uh, McJRPG guys, actually. But anyway, no, you, you, you do all that, and then you get these, um, these like, last quests of just, like, by the way, like, this empty dead continent of Walud, like, here is the final racisms, right? Here is the uh, straight-up, like, slaughterhouse uh, orphanage of mm-hmm. just absolute depression and fucking, like, uh, 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 soul-crushing... Uh, um, um, backstory, you know, and it's like yeah, yeah this there- place sucked really bad before you even got there. Yeah, there's there's nothing there's nothing more to say. You read a couple of logs about it, and you're like, okay, got it. This was the fucking, you know, uh, uh, yeah, the child concentration camp of the game, and it's mm-hmm. it's just it's incredibly dark and and fucked and in all that way. Um, it, it and then it, everything that plays into the the um, the unique aspects of this flavor of racism where you can again be born to anybody and can come from anybody so like you can't even necessarily like hide yourself from it by you know mm-hmm. uh, like going yeah, off racism as some... anti lottery you exactly it doesn't matter you cannot create your perfect bearerless ethno state you know because it can always happen to you um and then learning the history of like something that was very uh, very predictable. The idea that it's like, oh, guess what? Once upon a time, the roles were reversed. The power was held I by the opposite. I feel like that end. shouldn't have been buried so deep. But I, I, th- but the idea of it was that like we need to hide this secret knowledge from everybody, lest like you know the uprising occur or like it break the status mm-hmm. quo. And I'm like, the status quo could not get any worse. The literal think- world we live in now, where like. Again, bearers are like bearer kids are just put into fucking death factories is the absolute <laughs> worst case scenario. Nothing think, is worse than where we are. I think there's a there's a real like wild element to that final batch of side quests because it's it's the old fashioned meme of like the world is about to end. Hold on just a second. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. like, you need you need to get the... Oh, what was it? You need to get the names of the dead kids at the orphanage. Mm-hmm. And it's like, the sky is dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's, but it's... Do you not see this? It is over. Okay, so for me, the shit where it's like, hey, man, let's get rich. Go kill that monster and bring me back its skin. That's the shit where I'm like, what the fuck are we doing here, right? <laughs> what Like, this is insane. But everything relating to, like, all that, those types of quests, I'm all about mm-hmm. it. I'm like, give me more. Feed me that shit, right? I want to explore how you touch on this topic, seeing as there's a night. It's like, like, whew, that's rough. Well, anyway, before we get into the mechanics of... A uh, bearer land back. Oh God! Mm. There's a god we gotta go kill right over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, don't spend too much time now. Hey, whoa, what? Ah, Ultima. Ah, old Scott, old scamp. Let's get him. Stab him in the face. You know? No, it's it's what it's it's this thing where I'm like, um, yeah, you, to see all these places you're borrowing your character action, you're borrowing your your you know from the things we 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 know and love, mm-hmm. and and there's tons of Game of Thrones references as we've said and so on. But uh, yeah, here's a sp- sprinkle a little bit of that Attack on Titan in here for me. And you know what? I like yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. There I was, like that. I like there that. There was one moment that really felt really strange to me in because we're we're talking about all that final batch. Um, you talk to Josh, and the quest with Josh involves like finding your dad's will, right? Yes. And and the big reveal. Yeah. Is that dad's plan was to yeah. create a new type of state. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are like, we're gonna we're gonna try and we're gonna try and make this work. And I thought while I was in that cutscene, I'm like, Rosaria is gone, dude. Like 
Mm-hmm. Like ninety nine percent of the people in that country are dead. There's a town you turn into, like in the last half or the last third, that is like, oh, that's just all Akashic now. Actually, this town is just evaporating like, off the like, map. Like yeah, I, that it was like it had this like weird hopeful mm-hmm, mm-hmm. air to it, and I'm like, who are you guys? Like, no, is I this think... quest not acknowledging where we are in the game? Yeah, uh, correct. Because that wasn't the point of the quest. The point of the quest <laughs> was to show you that Elwyn was such a good dude, he was forward thinking. Yeah, but th- that that's that's the that's all it was. It was like he wanted to get around to it by establishing maybe perhaps a series of laws to you know get bearers back their dignity. But then we'd have to slowly work around the bearer crow. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know? and I mean... we'd get there eventually, but it would take a lot of time. But Elwyn. Had his sights set on a peaceful world, um, you know. But uh, and yeah, Bell and that said, no. Nah. And and and, yeah, and then every time he went to bed and he said, "Honey, what do you think of my plans?" Right, he had to turn over to fucking Annabella <laughs> to weigh um, in on it. Maybe that's why it took so long. Yes, uh, it's so, wild. Like, um, I'm really happy for you because you got to you have a different opinion than I do on Barney. Uh, I couldn't and stand I wa- Barney. Yeah, and, and I'll get into why in a second too. Yeah, but like that that experience for you changes the whole arc of the game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because for me, after Bahamut, it felt downhill because I couldn't stand him. I hated him okay. so much. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, and then, Dion uh, is so good though. Like, I'm not gonna take anything away from it. It was fucking incredible. And again, when you land there and you have that moment with Annabelle, Annabella, mm-hmm. uh, which, which we've described again, it's like, you know that person. You've seen that. Oh, yeah. You've experienced that, right? Now, here's the thing. When it comes to Ultima, it's like, whatever, you're the fucking, uh, yes, you're above us all, yada, yada, yawn. You're so great, Ultima. Wow. But Barney's religious zealotry is also a type of person that you can meet in real life. Yeah, a boring right? one. And the wall. The one that does not understand or care about anything coming inside it's a different it's a different version of that like kind of lockdown of uh that that she had that mom had right um mm-hmm. the thing with it that uh i ended up liking is the crack i said it last time but it's like the moment the the mask drops for just that second and you get that like your your fucking true personality shining through where yeah like like the hypocrisy that you Mm -hmm. are willingly ignoring now you can't possibly deny it in the peak of this hype ass fucking you know Mm -hmm. uh, judgment cut filled fight is a great moment that i really really love um and then it doesn't even linger like it doesn't stay it Mm -hmm. it closes back up even as he loses he reverts back to the way he was because and i get it's been like a lifetime of this right um, and then the maybe other- I'm just too literal. Like maybe. maybe that's the issue because, like, as he's going on and on about his his, you know, it's it's so great to not have free will. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. The whole time I'm the whole like my I can only have one thought during that whole. There are like three or four scenes that he does that in, mm-hmm. and I'm like, he he. I know he's wrong because I saw Ultima talking like behind the scenes and yes. Ultima talking to Clive and shit like that. So like his like ideological posturing is nonsense. Like it's it's uh, it's absolutely. all for him by him. Right. And so but, I'm just like bored of it. I'm like get get to the part where you do something instead of standing behind me ominously. But the part of it that I also found interesting in terms of just where he stands and again this you know this could be uh, uh, this you could this this could be dismissed as hyper conjecture, but it does seem interesting if you if you look at a couple of the the Wikipedia entries on on some of the characters, they they kind of it, it, things things um sort of start to mention the parallels of the bearer master relationship and the fact that right. he is the end state of the bearer master relationship with Ultima. So everything mm-hmm. the first part of that game is about with its slaves, he is the king behind the scenes that has control over his dominion, knows mm-hmm. what's happening behind everything and ultimately decides, yeah, fuck it. I don't even want to exist as an individual. I don't even want the slight freedom I could have. I want to just give in and 
give my will up to what I consider to be a perfect master, right? That is the, like, uh, 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 the when it's like, if you take this relationship that the whole first part of the game about to its natural conclusion, this is the mm-hmm. end goal, right? Um, but then even he can't necessarily truly be that to completion because it's it's obviously a flawed and fucked up way to be, which Clive points out to him, hey, you fucking hypocrite. From the jump, you've all this was been has been your decision to choose to not yeah. have one, right? Um, and then everything about uh, the entry for uh, Mythos and Logos and all that shit with mm-hmm. Ultima also basically implies that it's like, yeah, I want to turn the perfect Clive body into an- a- another perfect bearer, right? Like, mm-hmm. um, so I, I that that bit of of just taking. You know what is the the slavery bit, which is the most compelling aspect of the early story, and extrapolating it to this like, and now we have the humanity as the bearer and so on version of it is like I'm like okay, I I, I see how that represents it at a, as a whole. It's still like by going beyond the relatable human evil, it still mm-hmm. becomes less of a priority because we've seen it in other things before. Yeah. But I get that's what they were going for in terms of representation of the of the of the idea, right? Mirroring the concept on a large scale at that point. Um I I just the main thing I stand by is that like, yeah, with Ultima representing that like the final master, you know, um, he could have just had a more compelling personality. He could have said more interesting things, had more to say about all like of that. he was he going for like subdued, invincible, mm-hmm. right? Like, mm-hmm. like so invincible he doesn't even care, mm-hmm. which like can work. Um, yeah, I guess it's just to taste because like I just turned my brain off whenever he started proselytizing. Because like if I didn't like if Ultima had not shown up or mm-hmm. you know or had not been like a really act because Ultima is like fairly active. Like you talk to Ultima, you run into Ultima. Ultima tells you his bullshit, and you kind of figure out what the deal is. I mean, he's right? he's, he's sprinkling he's sprinkling crack on the body. He's right? traumatizing some, little kids like if, from the jump. If Ultima has was not around, and like Barney was doing his his cult shit, the lack of free will, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And I didn't already know. Like, I my big problem is that I know that every single thing out of his mouth is mm-hmm. bullshit mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. we start. Yeah. And it so I I'm in this the situation where I'm like why is Clive even listening to him at all? Mhm. Um, you know what could have been interesting is either create like it's cuz it's it's almost like the Ultron issue, right? Where um is it a uh 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 where, where uh, James uh, Sp- Spader? Uh Yeah. Uh, yeah, where he's like great actor, awesome in Sex Lies and Videotape, awesome mm-hmm. in The Office. But cool voice. Cool voice guy. Love him as a personality. Not interesting at all as an MCU villain. Just doesn't mm-hmm. work, right? And um, knowing that that's the personality they're going for, it's like, oh well. In other contexts, I like it, but here it does. It's just not landing. And it's it's a bit of it's that issue with with Ultima. It like what as you're describing that, I was like, imagine a setting where you had that zealot Barney going off in the way he did, but he never had confirmation that God was real. You know, mm-hmm. and then like you could have a last minute Final Fantasy. Oh shit, he is. But like yeah, the he's question, real. but the he question wasn't making if, it up. But if Ultima was never answering for the entire time, you know, that could have been a way to play it, where a complete absence of a, of a fucking deity, you know, uh, uh, would have been another route. But it's, it gets to the same conclusion ultimately. Um, uh, this this is a really minor nitpick, but it is fun to say. Um, so. Um, you remember that cutscene where like uh he just bodies she like Jill like 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 she's nothing? Like uh, just the boats? No, no, when you when you leave and Jill's like, I got this. Right? Oh yes, yes, yeah. After and uh, then he just near. bodies her in like a yeah. second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh then you get her moveset. Yeah. And you're like, Jill, what are you doing? I used her moveset <laughs> to beat him. Hey. Plot moves are different from in-game moves. Plot fucking slash the the, the <laughs> Zan, plot Zantetsuken is unstoppable, undeniable, topest of top tier, right? Um, yeah, it, it, Shiva Shiva ain't the same in action. That being said, 
I was wondering the whole time. I was like, do they still have access to it? Did they give it up completely? What do we got here? And it's like, oh, no, no, no. They kept it. You know, Dion can still do it a little bit, and so can she. Just a but, little. But they also run the risk of losing control, right? Because they don't have uh, a fully... Yeah, they could go nuts. So. They're, they're not fully dominant as dominant, so to speak. Yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, anyway, so, but but no, ultimately, um, you know, and I, I still think the, um, yeah, the strongest bits were just like, all right, your crew, the people that you're running with as a whole, and then, the I mean, the first, be the beginning of that final fight is like just a goddamn cutscene sequence that oh, you yeah. watch with a, 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 an experience meter that pops up at the end, hilariously. Did like, um, did, I hope you took the epilepsy warning in the uh, instruction manual seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it, 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 it did the thing and Clive said the line. He says mm -hmm. the fucking line. <laughs> hey, so this, we're going to talk about a big, the biggest spoiler in FF16 right now. Cause I want to talk about it. Wooly FF16 is a story built on what if any child could be born as part of a lower class, which is subject to racism, prejudice, abuse, etc., right? Mm -hmm. And what do you do in that society? And the game's ending goes, I know how we can fix this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if we just make sure that class will never exist ever again? Now, and I don't know how I feel about that ending. The <laughs> Clive, Clive sacrificing himself to make the real world right is uh like it reminds me here's the thing about it it reminds me of kreia right it reminds me of the like fuck this goddamn setting this is bullshit and the thing that we have the shitty world we live in is actually the one we aspire to because everything that you in your irl would find yeah. cool about our world is our problem right mm -hmm. and um it is i find that that's an interesting read and pl way to play it versus the the version of let's defeat racism in mass effect which is actually no now we are all one and the same you know yeah. there is there uh, there is it's, it's subtle though it may be it is a difference between the uh, uh, uh these two interpretations of it because like yeah, one is a world with this actual bullshit asymmetrical magic that we're, t you know, you're talking about the mutants that are actually have world ending powers, you know. Yeah, no, Clive says no more blue eyes. <laughs> I've solved it. In a world where blue <laughs> eyes all had like, again, reality fucking editing capabilities yeah. you and know mass effect says blue eyes for everyone, everyone. <laughs> yes that is a and that's that's the bit right humongous the humongous difference to me um so i will i will take the setting that in a kreia esque way is like um yeah this is asymmetrical and bullshit and fuck that you're getting the shitty real world we live in i will take that i will absolutely take that um as opposed to your thoughts have been overwritten. Yeah. <laughs> Fire the green laser. Yeah, uh, you know. So uh, close, but but not quite the same. Um, it is a. Uh, it is in fact. Uh, it is in fact a a, a. a a. The I did not. It, it's I don't know what they could have done. But I imagine a world where they go, well, now we've got a lot of work to do to change people's hearts and minds. Yeah, Would have been it's, the it's, biggest fucking eye roll yeah, in the no. world. You know what? Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, Sally Mae, I know you've been afraid about bearers. And I am aware that um, the War of the Dominance, or whatever the fuck they would call the historical event that just happened did scorch the sky, destroy your city and kill most of your family. But we're going to we're going to all work together. Now. Like I don't I don't think she's going to go for it, man. Remind 
KOTOR is such a good example. KOTOR mm -hmm. 2 has the best version of this mm -hmm. where everyone you run into says, oh, the Jedi Civil War. And you go, they're not Jedi, they're Sith. And people go, whatever. Who cares, I man? don't care. Yes, yes. It's all you stupid laser wizards mm -hmm. blowing up our planets. Mm -hmm. um, and at bare minimum, bare minimum, the, um, you know, all that shit with fucking uh, uh, turning to stone and 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 uh, and all that it's like okay so you 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 at the, you, you extend a couple lives uh, in this process um yeah because they just they 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 pull out every single stop they can in case they forgot about any towards the end they're like um oh yeah the dead bodies of the kids who turned to stone um just crush them to dust immediately get them out of here let yeah, the okay. real yeah. st shove the real bodies in a proper grave you know, mm -hmm. just when that happens, but we can't be having these ones, you know, like, like, yeah, they, um, it's like, it just uh, every single possible fucking horrendous route is already in a, uh, occurring. So like I said, to me, the status quo of this world cannot get any worse. We are I starting feel... at the bottom. You know? So I got messaged, uh, by, uh, dead Asana as we were having this conversation and they made a pretty good point, but I don't know if it's fair or not because I agree with it completely. Um, but I feel, I don't know if it's fair. Like, it feels unfair, but I don't know. Because these people made FF14, and the analogs are very, very, very clear. Mm -hmm. all, all the way down to Shiva being useless. That also happens from the same writer. Okay. Uh, Shiva's useless, but the cool, uh, blonde guy with the spear saves the day in the same thing. Like, like, it's, it's, there's a lot. Damn. Um, and Asana pointed out to me that one of the issues with Ultima is that Ultima is incredibly similar in goal and plot and characterization to a different character that you actually get to hang out with for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours in 14 mm -hmm. and gets to characterize exactly how apathetic they are to you being alive mm -hmm. over a very long period of time. You get to have a conversation with one of the villains in which you explain, you go, what? So you don't, you don't feel anything when you kill me or kill any of my friends. They go, well, I don't even think you're really alive. So mm -hmm. no, you're such a lower form of life that I wouldn't be guilty of murder. Cause you're not even real. Okay. As like a, pleasant conversation um and now that i've seen that i can't unsee it <laughs> okay so it's just it's a similar but more compelling because you get more time to sort of establish you get way, that. way 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 yeah. more time but it's it's uh, but it kind of hangs out in the distance a lot but i and and to be fair more time usually you know benefits uh, in this type of situation but i wouldn't even not i would say it's not fair not just because of the fact that 14 is fucking 14 and gets mm -hmm. to have that breath. But I would say it's a it's less relevant because it's not even about screen time. Because um, mm -hmm. um, fucking, I, I think I was saying this in, 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 the, in the LP actually, but characters like, um, characters like Dion and um, um, your on Byron it don't exist outside of cutscenes, but are mm -hmm. still fun parts of the story that I fondly remember. You know, they like if you were to press start to skip every cutscene, they wouldn't exist in the gameplay, right? He's oh wait, he's uh, Byron is oh, there following too. you around in in Dalamil. Uh and and um uh he helps you uh, fight those dudes next to the boat. Yeah, that one time. Yeah, yeah. So, but p point being is that these are fucking awesome ass characters that do a lot with very little screen time. You know, mm -hmm. compared to um, like Jill, who's around a whole bunch, but I'll, uh, I'll tell you what has has uh, less going on towards the you end, know, especially I, after her point is made. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use the most I'm gonna use the ultimate Final Fantasy villain metric that I know, which is I have not seen any fan cams of Ultima or Barney to K-pop <laughs> since that game's release. Sure. <laughs> all that Dion, all those sparkles. Can't I have get seen them, them for Dion. Can't get I've enough. I've seen them for Emmett, Elidibus, uh, etc. Yote deserves not, one. Not, not for fucking, not for Ultima or mm -hmm. or Barty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
definitely. Yeah, you can do more with less. Um, Ultima having more scenes to talk about all that in the what you're, the, compared to the character you're describing might help him. But ultimately, I think just different person entirely. Throw it out. Different cat. You know, I've. I feel like my, my I feel like in my gut I want to say like you know who should have been behind it all Dion <laughs> and then and that whole sequence should have been the fucking end of the game and then we just go back to that same like yes peak Dion credits roll etc no a- anyway all the uh, I I think uh, but that's pretty much it like what Ultima represents I'm, I'm fine with what Barney represents I'm fine with and what Barney how he plays out towards his finale, I'm fine with as well. Um, it's really just the thing you're doing these sick combos on at the end is mm. who care who cares. But hey, Clive is cool, and he's doing those combos. And you know, um, I do like like Josh. Like it, it like he I, I like Josh. It took a second, a couple times, but I do all right. Like, He's all right, but I my favorite thing about Josh is every time Clive is like, it's time for me to go be a hero. Josh is like, will you shut the fuck up, you stupid asshole? You're not, you don't have to go and brood alone. People care about you. Stop trying to be this fucking, I'm going to go die, it's all on me. You know, like, I, I, I appreciate the, the, the stern, like, you know, stop trying to be the fucking protagonist. Being protagonist. Stupid. Yeah. Um, you need someone like that. Uh, so that was fun. That was good. And, um, you know, in terms of uh, the only other thing I guess I'd say about it is I can see how um, I, st- I think it's yeah, one of the major complaints is, that is like, hey, I wish you could go right to Final Fantasy difficulty from the first. Oh, man, I would have enjoyed that game so much more um, d- for sure. Uh, you know, and as and I can see as well how um, like for me. Like I didn't just go, I didn't just uh, go into like a, a you know six um, magic burst uh, sequence uh, things, but uh, I, I I wanted to keep some games. I wanted to keep uh, boots on the ground, so to speak, with the with the game. And I did definitely have some fights where I was like, oh shit, this is cutting it close, you know. Like, and yeah. I think and I think looking back on that too. Um, oh, sorry, I just. Uh, Oh no! Got a sorry message. Um, I every time uh, 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 looking back on it, I was like, "Oh, I think like part of uh, uh, the 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 way I'm playing. I was playing too is like there's moments where you are supposed to like just stop and be defensive, so to speak. You don't have to mm-hmm. if you if you're super on point." With your recovery timing and your cooldowns and your freezes, but and the all that the, shit. the guy's gonna be super aggressive for a yeah. little bit. And the way I love playing is parrying and fucking dodging and you know using the defense into offense scenarios. Mm-hmm. So I'm always trying to cycle back to that fucking uh, on impact whenever I can. So in order to yeah. do that, you're kind but of like parry is really hard compared to your other defense options. In the, this the timing game. of everything is so forgiving. And there, it's actually just what it should be, right? Is is what I what it feels like. Um, but uh, shit, where was I going? Oh yes. So, I, 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 it, in a way, it's like. But if it reminds me of how in um, in action games and character action games as well, like if your goal is to kill the monsters, mm-hmm. then the games are brain dead easy. If your goal is to be stylish, well, now you've set a fucking wall. And if you increase mm-hmm. the difficulty while still setting that goal of being stylish, you have a different thing to accomplish, right? So, like, I'm like, yeah, I want to achieve the stylish result more than mm-hmm. I want to live. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I need it. I need it. And I- I'm going to go for it when I can. And fuck me up, like I missed that shit. Time to use an elixir because my life bar is annihilated by the final fucking blow. But uh, I don't. Yeah, hmm. I. So if you got to start on Final Fantasy, I think that would make a massive difference for mm-hmm. people like me. I I feel like there's a like they could put out a patch that would fix like the game's like I guess second biggest mechanical issue was like. I think maybe the balance on different icons could be adjusted a little bit because um fucking Phoenix and and Ifrit or <laughs> compared to fucking Odin it's like get the or Shiva like a, a, as you go through the game they just start getting stronger and stronger 
And it's like, I feel like Phoenix or like Garuda could get like a, like a nudge or, or all of them could get a nudge in, in various directions. I, the biggest glow up to the system for me would be mapping icons to the D-pad. Yeah. That would be, that would be it, right? The cycling is the thing that fucked me up the most every time I made a mistake. It was because it took I me a long time, especially because when you switch them out, they go to different positions. Exactly, and then your brain is like, "Okay, I put this over here," and then you double tap to get back to where you were, or single tap, and then like, just let me get right to the styles on my D pad, please. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, it, it's you know, and and I mean, I believe I said the same about um, about Dante, even when cycling through the uh, uh, the guns, right? Like, there's mm -hmm. things where it's like, yeah, I kind of. I don't need healing on that wheel and Torgal mm -hmm. over there as well. Torgal yeah. and, and healing could be relegated to holding a button and pulling up a six yeah. fucking short prompt, you know what I mean? To, to pick something real quick. I think... Um, I think the game would be a lot more fun if... Okay, follow me here. Um, ultimates, when you unlock the ultimate, it becomes available and it's the button plus circle. Right. Instead mm -hmm. of instead of replacing an existing move on triangle and or square, the ultimate you get for whatever becomes icon plus circle. And cut the power of everything, all your regular moves in half, but make the cooldowns way faster. Oh, we already talked about this uh, a oh, we couple did. We discussions did, we? ago, and the solution is replace semi prime with the ultimate of the of the style you're on. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're totally we did have that conversation. Yeah. You semi priming into a D into a DT is cool for Phoenix or Ifrit, and then when you switch to another thing, you get a completely different thing that yeah. uses the DT bar. You that should have strange? been. It. I don't know if I mentioned it at the time, but it kind of reminds me of Destiny, um, where for a long time Destiny had this thing of like, okay, well you're playing a shooter, but you're playing a class in your shooter, and what's your class do? Oh, it changes how your grenades work, it changes how your jump works, it changes how your melee works. But they're on like minute and a half long timers. So, like, for 99% of the time, you're kind of still the... There's no real difference between Titan or Warlock. And then mm -hmm. as the game went on, they they shortened those up, and they shortened those up, and they shortened those up, and you could equip things to make the cooldown go faster. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, and it, I want to hit my good buttons more. That's it. That's it. That's it. And when you have, like, okay, every, every icon has a dud that's just never going to fucking get in there, right? Um, but... When there's two and you're like, oh, but this one's got the edge, well, we're going with that, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to do fucking sword dance and rift slip all fucking day. It's, but it look, Odin's but it, moveset is really funny because there's they're all good, but, it but looks, two of them are so much better. Than <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know what I mean? What the fuck are we doing here? Like, those are on. They're on and they're in forever. Um, but that's it. But if you were to be able to put that on, you know, your 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 semi prime, then you could at least play a little bit more with the the prop shredder kind of dance macabre yeah. thing, you know. And um, yeah, it, it just then you have your you have your fucking stinker that you just do, you know you say fuck that thing. But at least you get to play more often with the other two for sure. Um. Anyways, that's 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 the final thoughts on it. Really. Um. A couple other things too. Um, you gotta get on Stranger Paradise now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Min said. Uh, Min said he's like, oh, Stranger Paradise should have been FF sixteen, and sixteen should have been the side bit. <laughs> I feel. I don't know if I funny, agree with funny, that, funny. but I would actually have to sit there and think about it. Okay, it's it's not an instant. It's not an instant. Uh, yes Stranger or no? Stranger Paradise there's, is really good. There's a discussion to be to it's, be had. It's there. really so. Okay, I, I said this the last time uh, we talked about the two of them. All of my complaints about FF16's gameplay disappear when I talk about mm. Stranger of Paradise. SOP. All of my complaints about Stranger of Paradise's narrative structure <laughs> disappear when I talk about FF16. Interesting. Although, uh, Final Fantasy fans would... Because Stranger of Paradise is a reference-heavy send-up to a lot of other Final Fantasies... Would you want a proper mainline titled Final Fantasy to alt to be a referential heavy thing as opposed to building its own world like the rest of them do? 
Uh, they kind of are all already really referential. Well, referential is like you're going to see those. You're going to see the icons or the idolons or whatever you want to call them. And 14 is 14. That's different. But yeah, 14. No, 14 is, is an MMO that goes on forever and has high heavy reference to all of them, right? And it also it, does things in like, terms hey, of the ones that are. Do you just want to redo FF4? Yeah, in terms of the, like, 14 didn't even have to be named 14, let's be real. It's, it stands out so different from every other thing in the franchise, right? Um, and uh, But, like, in this in this terms of the, and minus 11, but in terms of the, the, the ones that are just, like, the offline oh, stories, wait, actually, have, no. would you, yeah, would would you want that, or would you want it to mainly always have its own No, identity, no, it gets to know? be, a, it gets to be a spinoff. It's obviously hyper-referential in its spinoff nature. Like, you'll do a mission, and you're like, this is the level from FF7. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Um, I think it would be a... Like, yeah, it would be weird. Uh, 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 it, but I Stranger imagine. Paradise just has better, like, I'm going to fucking fight my ass off against chaos energy with, with like, a, 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 a proper action game for action game weirdos. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting that there's a discussion to be had. That is, the, that is interesting. Um, but, yeah, so that, that, that's, that's it, though.